In today's video, we are going to learn how to create this explosion animation effect using the create animation feature. Open Canva and go to mobile video and choose a blank canvas. Go to uploads and choose your image. Bring your image onto your canvas, resize and reposition your image. Let's give a canvas some color. Go to color in the toolbar and then change the color of your canvas. Now let's duplicate our frame. We're now going to create the box opening effect. Or you can refer to our previous video that was published on the 8th of December. I'll put the link in the description below. After you've duplicated your frame, go to elements and choose a square shape. Duplicate your square shape. Now we are going to resize our shape and put it on the bottom of the box. And change the color of the shape to red. Go to the second shape and also resize this shape and give it a white color. You can also duplicate the shape and reposition the two shapes. Go to upload and bring the logo of the Fruit Loops onto your canvas. Resize and reposition your logo. Now let's group the four elements together. Tap on the three dots and then in the toolbar go to select multiple and then group them together. Duplicate your frame. On the third frame now, go to upload and then start bringing in your fruity loops one by one. Let's start with the first one. Resize your fruity loop and take it to the back of the box. Now we are going to animate our fruity loop. In the toolbar, go to animate and then scroll all the way down to create animation. Now drag your fruity loop to whichever direction you want. You can also select which movement style you're going to choose, original, smooth or steady. You can duplicate the same fruity loop and put it in a different position. Go back to upload and bring another fruit loop onto your canvas. Repeat the process, resize and reposition your fruity loop. Use the same process to animate your fruity loop. Scroll all the way down to create animation and then drag your fruity loop to a different direction. Not forgetting to use uh, different movement styles. Repeat the process with all the Fruity Loops until you are satisfied with the number of Fruity Loops that you want on your canvas. After you've repeated the process of animating all your Fruit Loops, you'll be having something like this. Now we are going to adjust the duration of our frames. In the toolbar, tap on the little clock and then set your time duration. And this is how we're going to set durations for our frames. And this is our final project. If you found value in today's video, subscribe, like, comment. Until we see each other in the next video, peace.